start, haven't we, here now by giving us some fantastic news and a real pat on the back. Hot off the press, coming from, from Asif here, is we have reached today over Twitter 80,000 accounts. Take a moment, 80,000 accounts. That's a fantastic reach of people that you have communicated with today through that comms hero hashtag. And that has also meant Following off that, 350,000 impressions. So from that, how many other people might have had sight of that? That is a huge amount. We have trended as well today in England, which is a huge achievement, particularly with some of the big news stories that are going on today, um, unfortunately. But to get in that list of what are people talking about today, how many people are talking about it, to get in that list means so many other people outside the world of social housing that we might traditionally be expecting to watch us today, so many other people will have clicked on that and going, what's this Com Zero all about? Clicked on it. They still might have been on the wires about some of the tweets, depending <laughs> on when they went in, but they certainly heard about it. <coughs> so pat on the back to everybody in this room, particularly to resource, for making sure we have had that reach today. If nothing else shows you the power of social media, then I think we've done that here today. I think reflecting just back on the day, I think, perhaps don't video this, but there seems to be lots of lovely light bulb moments go on throughout the day. I mean, for me, I thought, John, when you reminded people about videoing in landscape rather than portrait, huge wake up call to me. I do that wrong all the time. And actually, how frustrating is it to walk away from an event thinking you've got perfect sound bite, perfect bit of video, and you've filmed it the wrong way. So some lovely little light bulb moments. And I think there was a lovely moment over here, I think from Wendy, if you don't mind me saying, that you were searching about hashtags. Yeah, I'm Karen. Karen, sorry, why did I say Wendy? I don't know, Karen. When you were talking about um, hashtags and you finally understood what they're about and why they're there and that they add up and add to a story. So I think people have had some absolutely lovely learning going on, so some real practical stuff. But I think what we've learned today is across all of our speakers, some real messages, particularly from Sinead, from Helen, from Alison, some real in stories about how you can influence, how you can get yourself heard in all the channels that you need to be heard in. So some really good stuff there. How you influence in the sector, how the power of a united voice, um, how powerful that can be. I thought Asif's stuff around personal brand, if you remember back to that, has some really fantastic tips about authenticity. And I think with Soha and with John, we have some wonderful examples there of the power of storytelling, how you can go forward and do that. And I think this from Fran has been wonderful throughout the day. The visual minutes, again, it goes back to what Russell was saying about the power of the visual. Aren't we all going to look at those when we go back or get those emailed to us in a couple of days more than we would if they were eight minutes in a Word document? That doesn't move anybody, that does. So I think we've had some real great ways of, of underpinning what we've done today. I think, again, what's important is you leave here today, that comms hero hashtag continues. It's still there, it's still in you. Start using it. Start making those connections across that hashtag. Start using UK housing in particular. For those of you who've just joined Twitter today while you've been with us, that's a really great one to make sure you're influencing at the place where MPs might be looking, where key stakeholders are, where play shapers are, where the G15 are, where all of those people, those influencers we've talked about today, that's where they're having conversations. After today, make sure you're having those conversations in those places too. What I'd just like to say in terms of summing up is to do some huge thank yous. I'd like you all to put your hands together for all the speakers and presenters that we've had here today. I'd like to say a huge thank you to Phoenix Community Housing for putting this event on here for today, for this fabulous room, for all the catering, the wonderful tour, the facilities. Can we show our appreciation for Phoenix, please? Finally, I'd like us to say a huge, huge thank you to Resource who have put us on a wonderful event here today. We've had some really great fun, haven't we? Um, we've had some good laughs. It's been well put together and we've had donuts, so clearly we're all very happy with that. It wouldn't be an event without those. I think the guys have worked really, really hard. Can we show our appreciation?
just a big thank you from all of us to you. Absolutely, in more than anything, it's about you coming along here today, showing your support to this first inaugural event. We've tried something new, we've dared to fail, we've dared to try, and I think it's been a huge success. Hopefully there'll be the first of many, many more to come, and you were here at the inaugural one, and I thank you for your support for that. I wish you all a very safe journey home, and hope to see you all again next time. Thank you very much indeed.